Hi there, thank you for joining us on today's interview training session. We're very happy to have you on board. I know some of you are joining in person and some are on Zoom, so thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules. I'll just start by introducing myself. My name is Nadia. I've been working here in the firm for six months now as a junior coordinator, and I'm very happy to meet you and meet some of you virtually. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Awesome. Thanks, Nadia. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Ollie. I've been in the firm several years now. Um, I am a consultant and really looking forward to the interview training and becoming part of the interview team um, and looking forward to this. Great. Nice to meet you, Ollie. Thank you very much. And um, just before we get started, I just want to confirm with you. Um, if you need a break at any stage, do let me know. We have water in front of you, tea and coffee behind you. Just want to point out that the toilets are just down the hall to your left mm -hmm. and the emergency exit is straight there to your right. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Um, so let's just start by tell me where you're from and when you're able to do so, where is the first place on your travel list? Uh, okay, good question. So I am English, I've been in Dubai and this office for several years, um, love travelling and you have loved being in Dubai with all the work opportunities and travel opportunities but obviously haven't been able to travel for some time. Um, I would love to go to somewhere in Africa for a safari at some point. Mm -hmm. Don't know where. Have you ever done one? No, I haven't. I've been to different countries in Africa, but haven't done a safari yet. So it's also on my list. Amazing. I see Sarah on Zoom has said to us, Sarah is from Paris, and once she's able to do so, she would love to go to South Africa. Mm. So, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to get started now on the interview training. Great. If anybody has any questions throughout the session, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, you're more than welcome, the more questions, the better. So, keep them coming. So I'm just going to go through the training objectives here. Um, the objective today is so that you have an understanding of the recruitment process here in the forum and the requirements for you to become an interviewer, so what we need from you, and what to look for in candidates and how do we test those areas. So there are three training objectives today. And here's the agenda, let's get started. So it is essential we ensure a positive interview experience. It's so important for us as a firm, for our brand, for our reputation. And um, here are just some reviews we've gotten online. And um, we have one person, one candidate who applied to the internship, and um, he or she said the whole process took five months and that it took too long. Um, he mm. didn't like the style of questions that were asked. Um, another candidate said that the difficulty of the case in the interviews was a lot more difficult compared to other firms. So these are just things to take on board mm -hmm. um, and into consideration when, inter when interviewing. So on to the next slide. Is that an internal comment feedback section or is that like a somewhere on the internet? This is public. public, so it's on the internet, on a forum for everybody to see. I'll just go back okay. if you want to have a closer look. Um, mm. Yeah, so the, this is for everybody to see okay. about their experience. And do you, does, would you review that? Your team reviews that? Yeah, we review this, but I'll just mention the first two are about our firm. Mm. The third one is about another firm in the same sector. Mm. So we're all getting similar feedback. Yeah. So just to keep track of. So what we look for in our candidates, we look for diversity. We're trying to get a ratio of 50-50 male and female. Um, as you know, the consulting world is very male dominated. So we're trying to recruit lots of female candidates. And um, as we are in Dubai, in the Middle East region, we're looking for 50% Arabic speakers as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's How's that going? 
it's going very well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not an issue for us at all. Um, we're very multicultural. We have candidates from everywhere, but in the Dubai office especially, we have a lot of consultants from Lebanon and Palestine. Mm. Yeah, lots of different countries. Yeah, so to do that, we do look into different markets, mm -hmm. different universities in the Gulf area, Middle East and abroad mm -hmm. further. And um, we're looking for the top talents in the universities, top of the class, um, GPA has to be 3.5 and above, it's out of 4. Um, so we're looking for visa graduates and experience hires too. Okay. So here are just some figures from the last year, from 2020. We received 35,000 applications online and through referrals. Um, almost 2,000 interviews were con conducted, 100 offers were given from all those interviews and that was through 12 events held and um, 10 of those 12 events were online um, from March onwards in 2020. So here's the process and um, the recruiting process and decision making. So we start with screening the CVs and um, so that's screening all the online applications and um, here in Dubai for Dubai office, Saudi, Doha and South Africa. Um, once the screening is complete, then we invite successful candidates to the first round interviews. So in total, there is six interviews for consultant position and senior consultant position here in the, in the firm. Those interviews are all 60 minutes each um, by six different interviewers on different days. Mm -hmm. The interviews are a combination of case part and behavioural slash CV part. Um, so all these things need to be taken into mm -hmm. consideration. Into, into consideration throughout the interview. Um, so how we split the interviews up is there's first round interviews and second round interviews. First round interviews are interviews one, two and three. Mm -hmm. Second round interviews are interviews four, five and six. The, the real decision making interviews are the third and the sixth interviews which are held by partners. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. you as consultants attending this interview workshop you will be doing first, second, fourth, and fifth interviews for us okay. when, once your training is complete. Mm -hmm. um, once the six interviews are complete, all the evaluations are put together and put forward to our recruiting partner, and then approvals are given um, yeah. when the candidate is successful and the approval is given, then we send out an yeah. offer. Does every interviewer have a say in if they get the job or is it just the partners from three and six? Oh, every user? interviewer. So the candidate is notified after every interview if they're successful and on to the, second, the next interview. If they're not successful or if there is comments, um, you know, major comments that yeah. we don't feel confident with going forward, we won't continue okay. the interview process with them. Yeah. So it will never get to a third or sixth round interview if there is negative. Yeah, yeah. So, have you got any more questions? No, sounds good. Great process. So, becoming an interviewer. So, for you to become an interviewer, first step is interview training, which is what we're doing now. And um, also, mm -hmm. I'm just going to hand you these. So, here's the steps. And um, here is some case studies, which we'll get to know in a moment. Um, for your reference, and here is the candidate evaluation form. So I'm just going to hand this to you, Great. everybody you. attending the session today. Um, I'm going to email you these slides once they're finished, but also you would have received these documents already in your email. So this is just for reference yeah. now. So the interview training is step one. Then once you've completed this four hour interview training course and unconscious bias training, then we will schedule you to take part in two interview shadows so you can see how other consultants and senior yeah. consultants are doing it and um, then you need to create your own case study so as you can see here some example case studies so our, inter our interview process consists of the behavioral and cv parts as i told you for approximately 15 minutes and then the case should take up around 40 minutes um, mm -hmm of your interview and then the remaining five minutes should be 
um, questions and answers if the candidates have any questions. Okay. So we're, I'm only going to touch off the case studies now, mm -hmm. um, but we'll get into it a bit more later and we'll have a fully focused training session on that as well okay. later on in the day. So moving on to the interview structure overview. These are just a few legal considerations um, to remember before we go forward. Um, if you want to stand by yourself, but it's just, we, we avoid talking about religion, we avoid age and um, giving feedback on candidates' energy levels, maturity, how they appear, mm. and we don't, we don't go for discrimination of any kind, and no, no gender discrimination. Um, yeah. Um, sexual orientation and disability. We don't assume a person can't do a role if they have a disability. Yeah. So these are just things to keep in mind. Yeah, and to avoid Great. talking about. Okay. So as I touched off before, this is the interview structure. So as you can see, 15 minutes for the introduction and the fit. It's essential that we check the fit of the candidate. Somebody can be absolutely great on great on the case and the numerical side mm -hmm. of the interview, but if they're not a good fit and won't fit with our culture here in the firm, well that raises a flag. So 15 minutes for the introduction and fit, 40 minutes for them to crack the case, 5 to 10 minutes to wrap up the interview and for the candidate to ask any questions he or she might have. Yeah. Any questions? Are, are we doing interview on my own with the consultant? Like no one from HR is there? Just, okay. So before this interview would take place, say for example we were to do a first interview, the candidate's mm -hmm. first interview, um, we would do a HR interview with the candidate, having received their CV online or a referral, to see if they're a fit, if they have um, practiced the case studies, if they're ready to interview, then yeah. we will put them forward to you. Okay, brilliant. So it would just be yourself doing this yeah. once you've completed all the training mm -hmm. and the interview shadowing. Okay. Um, just a few common mistakes that seem to happen. Um, introduction taking too long, trying to, to be their buddy and not completing a successful interview. Yeah. Um, overdoing the sell of the firm when they don't mm -hmm. have an offer. Um, and cutting the interview short and not getting a proper assessment. Yeah, okay. So here's just a further details of the breakdown of the interview steps, which I've gone through already, um, mm -hmm. which I will be sending to you as well. But Great. before yeah. the interview, um, do set some time aside to read the candidate's CV and to make yourself familiar with the evaluation form on front of you and mm -hmm. um, to know what questions you may ask, what's interesting, what makes what, is there something different or abnormal on their CV? Just have some questions ready in your mind or no. Come, maybe take five, ten minutes to just prepare for the interview. Yeah. Okay. Also, the evaluation form, just to remember, it's best to fill it out as soon as you can mm -hmm. because, you know, we all have busy lives. You might be interviewing different candidates. They may get mixed up, yeah. so it's best to do it fresh there. And we do ask for the evaluation forms within 24 to 48 hours of the interview. Okay. Great, thank you. So, fit and exercise. So, what are we trying to assess here with the fit? Um, we want to see. So, what are we trying to assess in a candidate and how? Um, we're looking for candidates that are impact driven and um, that have leadership skills, that have clear communication and um, breakthrough thinking and, and deep knowledge into the consulting world. Mm -hmm. We do tell candidates and we do expect that they have 25 to 30 case practices under their belts before coming to interview with us. Okay. Um, so we do hope that they come very prepared. Mm -hmm. We'll touch off that element a bit more shortly. Um, our fit interview should be designed to test the following attributes essential to the performance of a consultant or a senior consultant. 
So as mentioned, these are the five attributes that we look for and they need to be successful in most of those attributes to a high level. Um, okay. On the interview evaluation form, it's out of five. So five is brilliant, superstar. We need to have this person on our team. Mm -hmm. Four, amazing. Three is above average. If there's a one or a two, usually we don't we don't pass. Okay. And we as, are we assessing on every single individual one of these? Yes. Okay. Exactly. You'll be assessing these five attributes. Okay. Um, and we do ask that you leave comments beside as well to back up your findings yeah. and okay. your review. So development and leadership, feedback, are they coachable? You know, sometimes we have candidates that are super bright. They didn't crack, crack the case um, in the interview, but with some the right coaching and teamwork, we do see great uh, potential in them. Are they coachable? Are they team orientated? Um, you know, can they yeah. work on a team with you? Yeah. Would you like to work alongside this person? Yeah. And um, here's a list of questions that you can ask um, to address these competencies. So tell me something innovative you've done or a unique or interesting idea you've developed. Yeah. Um, how did you divide up roles and tasks on a project? Stuff like that. Okay. Have you got any questions? No, no, very good um, breakdown of just advice. Great, thank you. This is just further on on development and leadership. Um, as I mentioned, we'll be sending you these slides, so if you'd like any of these questions for reference, you can always look back on the slides too. Okay. Trust-based relationships. Please aim to include one or multiple of these questions to ensure your core competencies are considered. And um, what does trust mean to you? Tell me about a time you've had to deliver bad news. Mm. Um, what we're trying to find out here is, is this person empathetic? Okay. Tell me about a time you've had to develop trust with somebody you didn't know. Yeah. And as mentioned, more questions. We have examples of a strong answer and weak answer um, and what we're looking for. You know, we're not looking for someone to give us a vague answer. We want someone who's come, come to the interview prepared. Yeah, and gives detail. Exactly. Impact driven execution. And um, some sample questions for this is share an example of when you were a member of a team, when you were a member of a team that worked together very well. What marked the team's working style and how did you personally contribute to team effectiveness? And um, what is your preferred role on a team and why? Tell me about a time when you encountered a system or process that wasn't working. Um, I think we've all had that lately with Zoom. Yeah. So, <laughs> communication, is this person clear? Um, on the evaluation form, there's also level of English starting at fluent yeah. um, or native or bilingual and onwards. And then moving on to the case interview. So, as I said, we are going to have a detailed um, introduction to the case, but this is just to to touch off the case studies. Um, so what we're looking for is can these candidates organize the problem into a series of logical steps? Um, given their findings and their understanding of the news, uh, what's going on globally in countries worldwide, can, can they work out the structure of this problem? Okay. Can they apply their knowledge from their learnings from the news? Okay. Um, business sense and acumen, so the instinct for the side of things and their sense of proportion, understanding how the world works and basic concepts. Moving on to creativity, can they think out of the box? Um, do they have structured brainstorming? And last but not least, communication. Um, the structure is everything um, within the case part of the interview and are they nice and respectful throughout the interview too? Yeah. Have you got any questions? No. So here's just some examples of case studies that are in the industry. Um, one that we often use in the firm and here in the Middle East would be how many ca 
cabin crew and flight crew does Emirates Airline have mm. before COVID? So let's say 2019. Um, so that would be, that's an example of a case study. So what we're looking for from this candidate is the breakdown of how they get that number and yeah. the structure. Okay. And some other examples would be how many airlines are in the US? Does it make economic sense for Ben and Jerry's to have a free ice cream day? How would you value it? And how would you value it? Mm. So tips for designing a case or modifying your current case study. So as mentioned before, you're going to have to come up with two case studies and present it to us. Yeah. So we're going to give you the details of three principles here in the firm. You need to run your case study by them once it's complete. Once they've approved it, then we can put you forward to shadowing the interviews. Okay. So, so I'll, and so I'll come with two examples. Do I use two per interview or you only have one case study only per interview? Only one case study per okay. interview. So 40 minutes to do one case study. Okay. But um, just two because. Yeah. Good just two examples. Have, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so your case should, um, it's important that the candidate has all the information that they're going to need. The interviewer should check the candidate's understanding of the context of the case before progressing and make sure that the context is understood. We do encourage the candidates to ask questions as well. Okay. So when you're presenting your case study um, to the principal, you need to have a list of questions yeah. and answers ready. And are they, are they writing, is the response that the candidates do a written response or are they just verbally? Oh, it's all verbal. All verbal. But okay. the candidate can use pen and paper as yeah. well to write down notes or to uh, figures and mathematics. Okay. Um, but it's all verbal. Yeah. Right now the interviews are all via Zoom. Yeah. Um, as, as you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just a few more points. Um, for your case, you have to have maths in your case. Yeah. Um, often we have times that cases are done and quants aren't tested. It's essential that we test the quants. Yeah. Um, make a clear distinction to what you provide as standard and what you hold in the reserve as hints if requested. So candidates can ask for hints um, if they need, but we do hope that they don't. Yeah, okay. what your case shouldn't have. It should not be just a brain teaser. As mentioned, we do look for uh, mathematics in there and that's not the skills that we're looking for in a consultant in our firm. Um, it mustn't be entirely made up either. Your case needs okay. to, to be related to something that's going on in the world currently yeah. or here in the Middle East. Um, okay. It must have scientific arithmetic as well. Stick to the four elementary arithmetic. Square roots and integrals don't test well what we're looking for. Yeah. Just some final thoughts before going through. Shadow to your interviews as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, you can learn a lot from fellow consultants and senior consultants. Yeah. Turn up to the interview on time. It's poor yeah. reflection of our company. And if you're late, and it gives yeah. the idea to the candidate that they're not important. Yeah. Prepare ahead of the interview only if it does not show a level of professionalism and it may not give the candidate the best opportunity. Yeah. Be objective and structured. Do you try not to judge in the first 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Remember that even bad candidates may become future clients or have affiliations with current clients and other candidates. Yeah. Come to the interview, focus on the interview and leave client work at the door. Yeah. Take the opportunity to, the, to inform the candidate of the uniqueness of our firm mm -hmm. and fill out every section of the feedback form. Yeah. Have you got any questions? Um, if, if I know someone I think is a good potential fit, like a friend or family member, friend or friend, can I introduce, can I interview them or what's the process? Great question. So you cannot interview somebody that you know. Yeah, okay. Um, 
it's a bit unfair, it's not a fair interview if so, yeah. but you can refer or introduce us or send a CV our way um, and we will just put a note beside their name on the pipeline noting that you know this person. Okay. Um, okay. But great. great question, thank you very much. And, oh, sorry. and just one more, obviously at the moment everything's on Zoom, can, will we eventually do face-to-face -face interviews? Is that how it used to be done? Yes, yeah, so yeah. that's how it was um, okay. before March 2020. Most interviews were done in person here in the office in Dubai. Yeah. Although we do have a very multicultural team and yeah. a lot of our candidates come from all over the world. So either we were going to interview event days in okay. London, um, Boston, New York, France, uh, Lebanon, we're doing yeah. all over, so those interviews would be face to face. But oftentimes, we would fly um, candidates into Dubai as well yeah. to interview. But Brilliant. as for now, everything's through Zoom. Yeah. So let's hope things get better and we can continue with the face to face interviews and travel. Yeah, hope so. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Mm. Um, just going to have a quick recap. So the objective of today's interview, our interview training, was for you to learn the process of the, to learn about the recruitment process, yeah. how it works on our end, and um, for you to go forward with interviewing what you need to do. Yeah. So just to recap, what you need to do is um, complete the training, which you will do today, and yeah. um, prepare two case studies and present it to us once mm -hmm. approved. And then interview, and then shadow two interviews. Yeah. And once all of that is complete, you're free to then start interviewing for us. Okay. So. Awesome. Great. Well, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you for that. That was a great training session. Great. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for taking the time. Awesome. And let's take a quick break before.